When it comes to this uh, net zero accelerator initiative, deeply concerning to see it's three point billion dollars that have been sent in 17 signed agreements, 4.4 billion more committed. Uh, the, the average dollars per ton reduced five hundred and twenty three dollars a ton. Many of these agreements didn't even have a GHG reduction number attached to them. Instead, officials have shifted to a qualitative analysis. We know we have projects across the country, like investments in public transit, like investments in helping Canadians retrofit their homes, that are far uh, more efficient and effective to get climate action than sending billions of dollars to the largest companies in, in the country to get barely any results. We're going to continue to call for that. And again, we appreciate the, the commissioner's work. That all this, of course, happening when folks with disabilities across the country are being told there's no money to adequately fund the Canada Disability Benefit, yet we see almost $8 billion going to companies, the highest emitting in the country with barely any results to show for it. And as I said earlier, $523 a ton. Clearly, we need to continue to call for this government to put their dollars towards Canadians' true priorities, and that includes investing in lifting people with disabilities above the poverty line. Thank you.